Hey you guys, what's going on? Today I want to talk about my Philadelphia Eagles because we have seven players going into free agency and I thought it would be fun to talk about who I think we should keep and who I think we should let go. So let's look at the first player, Steven Tulloch. This guy is interesting because he already has experience under Jim Schwartz. However, he never made it as a starter this season. He was a backup the entire season so he was only able to get in seven tackles for the entire season. So while this may surprise you, I think we should re-sign him. If he's cheap, we could keep him for depth or he could potentially work his way up to a starting position and I think that's valuable. He does have experience as a starter so I think that is pretty valuable. However, I'm not really willing to pay a whole lot so if we can get him on a cheap contract, that'd be great. The next player is Nolan Carroll which I really don't need to get into because contract negotiations with him have already started. So you should expect to see him next year. I don't think he really has much value, so expect him to stay with the Eagles for a few more years. The third player we'll be looking at is Brian Brayman. Brayman is basically a knockoff Connor Barwin. Um, he should be an outside linebacker, but the Eagles have him playing as a defensive end. This guy is practically unnecessary on the Eagles, so I don't think the Eagles will re-sign him. If they do, it'll be a very low value contract just to keep him on for depth. But like I said, realistically, he doesn't need to be on this team. The fourth player going into free agency is Benny Logan. This one is really tough because he is actually a really good player. But going into the next season, cap space will be limited and it's a big issue. And I don't know if we'll be able to sign him. But I will say this, I would take Benny Logan over all six of the other guys going into free agency this year. If we can somehow make it work, the Eagles absolutely should re-sign him. But unfortunately, I think he's going to test the market and I think he's going to be gone next year. Which is really unfortunate. The fifth player is Najee Good. This one, I'll look at the same as Steven Tulloch. Najee Good has performed well for us in the past, but recently he's been a backup. He hasn't won a starting position in a few years if we can sign him for depth I don't mind but I really wouldn't be upset if he wasn't on this team next year I almost see no point in him being on this team next year so do with that what you will the sixth player we'll look at is Dwayne Gratz now our cornerbacks are arguably the biggest weakness on our team and some people were happy when we signed Gratz I however was not this guy had one good year and outside of that he was a below average corner Jalen Mills beat this guy on the depth chart, and he is way better than Gratz, so I have absolutely no reason to re-sign this guy. Even for depth, I think it would be a complete waste of money. The final player we'll look at is Michael Johnson. Don't be surprised if you hadn't heard that name before. This guy was undrafted, and he never stepped foot on an NFL field. The fact that this guy couldn't perform well enough to take a starting job with the Eagles is proof that he shouldn't be re-signed. We have one of the weakest wide receiver core in the NFL, and this guy in three years was not even able to get on the field. The Eagles shouldn't waste any time even looking at this guy's contract, just let him go. But that's just what I think. Let me know what you guys think about these players in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed the video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, I am Motionless Gaming, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.